Cool. Tell the people what you're doing this weekend. Yo, yo, we down here in Austin, Texas for this South by Southwest.com Hip Hop Unity Conference. And we down here and we got everybody that's somebody down here that came down to represent the father. I don't care who you are. If you a journalist, if you a DJ, if you a break dancer, a producer, a radio guy, you down here, you fellowshipping because this is the body. Unity down here right now. Making it down. Nothing but love down here. We just representing the kingdom. And we push it forward, it's unity, everybody is giving each other a hand up, you feel me? So if you didn't come to this this year, you better make it here. You gotta next be here next year, year man. man. We gonna be so much unity. Here. There's so much. I mean you got a little rascal here, you got the nails over here, you got truth here, you got a master here, yes, sir. you got you know the you warrior got here, you got the house. mob here, you got Psy here. I mean I can just go you on got and Chino on. You got life, I mean yeah. everybody yeah. here, I mean, man, you, going we can down. just we can just go on and on. And see that's a part of history of we can spit them names out like that. Yeah. So y'all need to learn those and learn who yeah. represent and, with y'all. And tell people what y'all are still doing. I mean, you just released a new video, g Up. Yeah. yeah, we just released a new video, g Up. We just dropped another one, Stand Up. So go to Stand Gospel up. Gangsters Campaign on YouTube and look at Stand Up because we just put that up. It's yeah. hard too. Is that on a project that's coming out or you guys yeah. already got it? Got that, that's some stuff. We, that was a blessing for, for the people. We got another project, Street Disciples, that available. June. So everybody go pick that up. Street Disciples documentary, and we have an album, the Street Disciples the album, and we also have another uh, album that's ready. It's called The Second Coming. That's actually the official Gospel Gangsters next album, and that'll be out within another four months, three, three to four months. You know, we're working on promo and everything right now, but this, this project is ready to go. We got things prepared for y'all. If you love us, we ask you to continue to support us and not just us, all these artists, if you down with the faith. Yeah, and I just wonder if you've gotten any feedback on the videos, like the G'd Up has kind of got a violent theme. You got some women and, and uh, you know, scandally clad, I guess, in their, in, in their reason behind it. I just wanted yeah. to give you an opportunity to kind Definitely. of explain the, the storyline behind that. The storyline behind that, it was to show you that sometimes we just go toward the street. Like you've seen as we stopped the gang members from getting into a shootout. I had a cousin, if you heard the song from our album, um, it was called, um, what's the album? No, um, like, uh, uh, no. She flipped like it ain't funny when we came money. Oh, 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 oh. Caught up. Caught up. We got a song called Caught Up. And you can go get that song. And it's about my personal cousin. She was a stripper and she ran away from home and she began to strip and things and she almost lost her life. And we and that was just taking like a, a depiction out where like my cousin, that was like a reenactment when my cousin got in and we had to physically go get her about the situation because she almost lost her life because she thought she was trying to get money. But the devil ended up having her when she got hooked on drugs. She almost lost her life, almost got raped and killed. We were there on a mission from God to save and rescue her from that situation. Mm -hmm. So if you see it, and like when Chili Baby didn't pray, they prayed and the evil spirits were cast out the people and they fell. And we rescued the girl. So it was about some people scared as believers to go into situations to deliver people out. But the Bible says we have to even snatching some of them out of the flames. You feel me? Some people ain't gonna go where gang members is finna shoot. Or it's a lot of men of God who can't even minister to a loose woman or a woman who, like Mary Magdalene, because you got lust in your heart. You know, you ain't free. So you can't even share with her. You rather look and judge her. But Jesus will go minister to her and say, go and sin no more. You feel me? Just like we did the uh, word, word, the wrong way, go up and touch your boy on his leg when he up in Raise the the gang, you know what that's, that's what we got to do. We going into these neighborhoods. And I, I mean, you know, Gospel Gangsta is probably one of the edgiest groups that we, you know, y'all, some people probably feel like we go just at the edge or we go too far. But, you know, with these kids out here, the way things is today, homie, you got to be real with them because in two minutes, they can tell if you fake hey, or not. Hey, we do youth ministry. And you wouldn't understand, I have a sister who works in the school system. She was telling me how these some of these girls are 13, 14, 15. They be having full-fledged strip parties and doing all type of stuff. Uh, you know, just like lesbian acts on each other. And they're young girls. And you're like, somebody need to minister to them. Like Chitty Baby said, we ain't forgot the sisters too. We got a lot of single mothers out there. Young girls who just, you know, young mothers. Mm -hmm. And they need to be mentored, you know, so. We are big brothers to them, basically. I, I treat them like my little sister, like my pastor said. If you look at every woman as your sister or a mother figure, you, you know, that's
that eliminate a lot of lust and other things you would deal with. Because my sisters, when I see my sisters, I never look upon them with lust. That's my sister. You feel me? I don't want to see her nakedness or, or get at her in a wrong way because it's my sister. And that's why I keep it with all these sisters in the Lord. You feel me? Plus, anything you ever see sister, God's right? That's spiritual it's incest. It's all about it's all about ministry. It's never a personal personal motive. You know what I'm saying? We don't have personal Getting motive. Glory, you know what I mean? We don't have no glory ideas. You feel me? Yeah. It's all about the Father. It's all about Yahshua, man. So, and that's what we do. And, and, and you gotta, I feel, what's from the heart reaches the heart. You feel me? We try to come real. We wasn't, you know, you know, we're not into promoting negativity and gangsterism. You see, we the gospel gangsters. The gospel coming for the gangsters. You feel me? Because if it wasn't for the gospel, still be just lost gang. We would be gangsters. Yeah, you need to take that word off. We're gangsters whose lives been changed by that glorious gospel. And we don't mind going to every man's world. Yeah. I wanted to ask you too, in the, the most recent video of um I saw you were wearing a stop snitching t-shirt and we just want to give you some people may be concerned about that and let you an opportunity to kind of explain what that means and why you wear something like that. What, 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 what do you think they're concerned about? Like, what do you think they're concerned? To me it seems like if you see a crime, you should, as a, especially as a Christian, you would want to encourage people to speak up against evil acts and that sort of thing and report that. Well, that's, it depends on your take on it. See, I'm from, I live in the ghetto, right? And the thing is, I don't condone crime or other things, but there's rules and there's certain things. You can speak on some things and you can lose your life. You, it's people, who, and the police will tell you, it's people who don't get involved because either they're fear for their lives or they don't want to have to go to court and point to somebody and get into somebody else's business and then you end up getting killed or you got to move or have a snitch jacket on you to where you know, and a lot of people snitching is not honorable because like the Bible says there's honor among thieves nine times out of no, usually snitching ain't usually the innocent people. It's I'm talking about say you doing the crime. As you get caught doing the crime and for you to get off, you tell on the next man. That's not cool. Yeah, it's not you feel cool. Me? We also, it has nothing to do with innocent bystanders. Backbiter from a backbiter yeah. standpoint. I, mean, I might see you walk out of here with a female, but by the time you get, out get outside, you, you done did something to her. I done said you done done something to her. So I was like, stop snitching, man. Stop backbiting. Stop, you know, backbiting. You follow, you follow the cross, man. You follow the cross, bro. You follow the cross. You can't go wrong if you follow the cross. Yeah. So that's what stop snitching, man. You know, stop telling. Stop backbiting. Stop running around saying, every, you know, all this stuff that ain't true. Tell bear. You know? Tell bear. You know? yeah. That's, a lot that's of what stop snitching means. A lot of people that's... A lot of people that's talking is not even directly probably involved with what went on. It's, it's usually a third party gossip situation. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, Lamp Mode Records, uh, they recently just put out a, a video where they had guys talking about their top three Christian hip hop albums. And I know one of the dudes from Hazakim mentioned uh, Gang Affiliate, and a lot of people have mentioned that that's a, a classic. Kind of your thoughts on, on being mentioned as, as a classic in our genre and kind of for the faith for your album. How do you feel about being named as like one of the top the gang affiliated was mentioned as one of the top three Christian hip hop, you know, classic albums. Kind of your thoughts on that and where that record stands and, and your catalog and the genre. That's one of my favorite albums because it was my first. Yeah. So back many memories right there. You know, and they, let me tell you something. Even with gang affiliated, they said we were controversial. We had guns on the cover. Yeah. And we said the, the N word. You feel me? I mean, it was like, oh, why they doing this? Why they? But it was a purpose in that. You feel me? We don't do it because. And, and plus, if you believe, you know, I ain't talking to you. Yeah, Off the know. top, I'm not talking to you. We're I'm in the street talking to somebody who we're just trying, shot somebody yeah, exactly. with a gun or something. We're trying to get those that's way out there to the right. We're trying to bring them in to where being a belief, a regular person can talk to them. But when you're in an extreme situation, sometimes you get certain bait, you got to use the fish. And now to the believers, I would never, like I said, hey, brother. But now if I seen the blood, I would say, oh, what's up, Damo? What's up, dog? Or what's happening with the Lord? You know, that's his lane. Because I need to now I'm walking down a barrier you know, already. And then I to bring him in to where he can get going again. You got, we understand that we're talking to blind men, you feel me? We're not expecting them to have the understanding. The Bible said it's the things of God, the, the, the unspiritual man can't even discern them. These things are spiritually discerned. You can't expect a worldly man to see what we see. He's in darkness. He don't see smoking and drinking as wrong. He just see it as, hey man, this ain't fun. You feel me? We let him know, man, your body's a temple. 
And so we just about reaching people. We thank God that we were considered among, you know, classic makers, you know what I'm saying? We, I'm, I'm honored, actually. I'm, I'm just, I'm honored, and I'm still on the grind. I want to outdo that, basically. That's what my yeah. job is as a minister and as a writer, is I want to outdo that. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm believing the second coming, this next album y'all look for. We'll, to the people, we'll be, and to the people, some of the people that, you know, be a little iffy about us. I'm sorry about that, but, you know, what the Father tell us to do, we're very unapologetic about it, because at all, We've been following the father all our life, and every just, project is evidence. Yeah, I just want to say, like stuff you can't like see that, but you know, sometimes what the father does is controversial. controversial. Like you know, it, it's not normal to, to spit on the ground, and, you know, pick it up and rub it on somebody's eyes. You feel me? You gonna put spit on my face? You feel me? People might think, yeah, that's gross. <laughs> You spit on the ground and gonna put dirt with it and then put it. But nevertheless, hey man, if you be obedient, you know what I'm saying, and you're hearing from God. Really, we didn't do this because we wanted to. We never had. I never, like Chitty said, we never made a demo, bro. We never tried to seek this industry. We sucked the first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things was added. You feel me? Man, and, you can, you, and, and, and now you want to know about it, you ain't feeling any classic. What he just said, that's what makes it a classic because we sought after God. You know, people was telling us, ah. If y'all told us don't do that, don't do that. Car, they gonna throw y'all out the industry there and never But that was my real never message. Make it. I've never been ashamed of that because that was my real testimony. Okay. I grew up in a very violent atmosphere. A very, and you have to become violent to survive or withdraw from it. And I thank God that he called me to my rest because I would have died in the streets or been in jail for life. I mean, it's not a joke. The streets aren't a joke. A lot of these people are driven. They're not being led. They're driven by spirits. They're driven by their flesh. And now the soul is good to be not driven but led by the Holy Spirit. You know, in the Bible, say the kingdom suffers violence, but the violence take about force. I mean, all we're doing is taking every tool the Father given us and going to snatch it back. Everything. I mean, the soul, the money, the everything. He said, what the wicked laid up. So anything somebody wicked got, I need that. If you ain't going to come to the kingdom, let me get that. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's ours. He on the thousand years, he on everything. When he when he said in Genesis, everything was good. I mean, man distorts. You know what I'm saying? He can't be original character. The devil ain't original character. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's not that. You know, he falsified himself. You know, he's a liar. The he's a liar. So he'll deceive you. He'll tell you anything. Even in the gospel. You know, with some of our music, not just speaking on us, a lot of music, you know, some people might be skeptical. Man, stop letting the devil mash you out. Like, once you go figure out, like, pray and figure out what God said first before you step up in front of the genre and say, oh, that's whack, oh, that ain't a God. Go see how many souls get saved. Go see how many people get turned around. Go see how many people. I guess a doctor, uh, Chino, Chino, like, he came up to us and told us, man, I was in jail. I didn't know, I was in a pen. I didn't know nothing about y'all music. I got y'all music out now. Or, 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 Check or, out my tape. It's been like 10 people came and said, man, my, I got a ministry now. I'm a pastor. And I'm the man of God I am today because of you guys. I mean, you can go at this event right here, go around to some men of God, and they'll say, they the first people. They brought me out the streets. And it's, and it's so, not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's about the father. No, it's so just the effect of, his, of the ministry God has, has in our lives, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and if what they say, if that came to pass, and that's the result, and I know I did, or like the Bible says, his word won't return to him void, we accomplished what we set out to do, and that was to reconcile men back to God. We have gospel gangsters, that's what gospel gangsters, we have the ministry of reconciliation. That's reconciling man back to his creator. And if we did that, if we did that, then I feel we did our job, and I'll tell you, you gotta realize, Jesus died, they, they, should, they lied on him, they crucified him, but it was to save us. So, if saving them means y'all gotta crucify me, then okay, go ahead. <laughs> you know, go ahead.